Join the charge. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Heck, we're even on TikTok. We're excited to engage with you. We hope you'll join us moving forward. Click that like and subscribe button and go sign up on superchargestocks.com and let's keep you notified. Hi everyone, it's Andrew with Supercharged Stocks. Uh, today we're catching up with Chris Healy, who's a director over at Canine Gold. Uh, we reached out to him a couple of weeks ago to talk about the project in Newfoundland. There's been a lot going on up in Newfoundland, and especially lately. And uh, we want to clarify their news release, uh, ask them a couple quick questions about it, and uh, just get a catch up to see how things are going. How are you doing, Chris? Really good. Really good. We're really excited about what we're seeing in the drill core. Excellent. Well, that's, that's kind of what we, we want to get is that it's tough with, uh, especially I've got a lot of generalist uh, followers. And if they read a lot of news releases, they'll sometimes ask me, go, oh, uh, sounds good. Was that good? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> and it's tough because you've got to put a lot of technical in. And then, of course, there's certain criteria that you can and can't uh, put in. So we thought... Let's just have a discussion with you so you can give your impression and uh, give us a little walkthrough of uh, what, uh, what you're seeing and what you find optimistic or, or challenging or, or whatnot. Yeah, the challenge is always in these situations just to, uh, to explain it without getting too technical uh, and, and then put, put the results into some real world context. Um, and, and you can do this by comparing what we have seen in our fairly brief to date drill program uh, and comparing it to what our neighbors have, have drilled uh, and, and the results that they have. Right now we're, we're being concentrating on the Jumpers Pond area right at the north end of our property where it's uh, immediately adjacent to Sokoman's uh, Moosehead discovery. Uh, some, some very good numbers coming out of that. Uh, and very similar uh, to what Newfound Gold is getting um, uh, in, in their project, particularly the Keats zone, um, just a little bit to the uh, to the east of us. So we're at an early stage in our drill program. We've drilled a total of 17 holes. Uh, of those, 12 have been in the Jumpers Pond area, but only five of those have been really close to the, uh, to the Sokoma boundary. And from those, we have intersected a zone of uh, substantial interest in two holes. Uh, and those, those zones are quartz veining with, uh, with, with uh, pyrite, arsena pyrite, uh, alteration structures, everything you'd like to see in those holes. We, we, we rushed the assays for a hole 12, which looked really good, and, uh, and got a zone, a, a broad zone, um, eight meters, uh, averaging about one gram per ton uh, of gold. Now, one gram per ton is a very small amount, so you don't actually see that in the core. There's, there's nothing visible in the core. You see the alteration, you see the structures, you see the uh, maybe the, 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 the sulfides, the py pyrite, arsenopyrite, but you don't see the gold when it's like that. Now, if you look at what our neighbors are, are reporting, you'll see all kinds of high, spectacular high grades. But if you look inside the numbers, you will also see they're reporting holes that are exactly the same as what we have reported. Uh, and, and that's because we have, uh, in, in, this vicinity, in this area, in this geological environment, we have what is called a nugget effect. In fact, it's a, it's a very severe nugget effect. And, and to put that in layman's terms, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's nuggets of gold, not great big nuggets like you see in the in the movies, but yeah. Um, yeah. visible gold, Fiji, visible gold. Uh, and if you look at the pictures that uh, some of our neighbors have uh, posted on, uh, on their uh, their news release on the websites, you will see flakes of gold in the quartz. Now, you can be literally centimeters away from a zone that's got that and have just the plain quartz without the nuggets. And you will see in the, in the tables of drill holes 
that uh, New Van Gogh and Sokoman in particular have uh, published, you will see drill holes with one gram over eight meters, exactly the same as we've got. Now, we have drilled, as I said, we have got this zone in two holes, 100 meters apart. If you look at what Newfound Gold is doing at their Keats zone, they're drilling at 10 meter centers. Okay, yeah. And they've wow. drilled hundreds of holes. Yeah. Sokoman's drilled hundreds of holes. We are uh, a year or two behind them on that. So yes. we are just getting into the zone. Uh, we have found a zone with the, the, the geochemical characteristics are exactly what you want to see. We just haven't drilled enough holes to hit the, the high-grade zones. And, and we, we are very confident. You can never be sure, of course. That's no. why you have to drill the holes. Uh, but we're very confident that additional drilling that we are now planning uh, a, a tight spacing around the hole 12, the one that we released a few weeks ago, um, we're very confident that we will indeed find the coarse gold and, and, and get some of those uh, exi really exciting numbers. I think that's what's so important for people to kind of get is they can look at uh, people right next door <laughs> and see what, what's coming out. And I think for, if I can kind of uh, chime in for the person who's new is that, you know, remember a hundred meters is that's a wide distance. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a yes. big distance between uh, drill holes. Whereas 10, you're really, really narrowing it down. And remember, I'm trying try to remember even my, myself is, you're, you're pouring holes right right into the, the ground or into a mountain. They're not very big. It's very, very difficult. But I guess if you're seeing this anomaly, you're seeing these things take shape and it's looking very similar with all the data this far. My one suggestion would be, I guess the natural thought would be, uh, is it in the future or is it in, in the thought period that maybe narrowing down uh, on another drill program is something to consider? Oh yeah, well yeah, and that's that's exactly what we're going to do. We the uh, our drill crew works on a six weeks on two weeks off uh, schedule rotation, and in fact they're just um, I think tomorrow they're moving they're coming back to to the project uh, to restart drilling, and they've just got one hole to finish off where they are now, and then they'll be moving back into this area, and we will def very definitely be drilling all around. The, these two holes. Yeah, you made a good point about the, the drill core. Uh, and so you've got two cores, five or six centimeters in diameter, a hundred meters apart. Yes. That's not a very good sampling density. So yeah, when you have these, these very, very extreme nugget effects, as, as we do um, see uh, in, in the area, then your chances of hitting with two of uh, the, the high grade with just two holes, hundred meters apart are pretty low. You yeah. have to, now we know where there's a zone. Now we can zero in on that and do the tight space drilling that we need to yeah. uh, hopefully get the, get the, the high grades that we expect. Maybe you can tell me if you're wrong, but a, a lot of people will be used to like, say the thought of a, like a geothermal where it's being pushed up along a, a, a ridge, and there's like a, you're chasing like a vein and they'll think, okay, I can visualize what that looks like. I'm going to chase a vein all the way down 300 meters or something. Whereas this is, you're, you're doing somewhat the same thing, but because it is that nugget nugget, it isn't just a, almost kind of like a continuous hint all the way down. It's like dry, 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 or okay, okay, okay. And then chunk, and then okay, 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 chunk. Yeah. So yeah, your, your average grade will, will be great, but it's just, if yeah. you don't get those chunks, you're 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 not seeing what the potential is there. Yeah, and, and, and when you talk about average grades, uh, if you look at Marathon Gold and their their uh, Valentine Lake uh, deposit um, along the same trend as ours to the south, where they have uh, they're at the um, the pre feasibility study stage or full feasibility, they have announced uh, mineral. Uh, mineral reserves, and to do that, you have to have a positive uh, pre-feasibility study with an average mine grade of 1.4 grams. So, yeah, um, the overall average, when you get a, into a you know, large tonnage mining situation in this kind of, this kind of environment, is, is not going to be much greater than what we have already intersected. 
Yeah. So, yeah. but but your vein, yeah. We're not talking about massive sulfide, copper zone, uh, lead, zinc, nickel, whatever. Yeah. We are talking about quartz veins, um, following um, fracture zones, uh, hydrothermal fluids, uh, heated fluids from from um, uh, ancient uh, intrusions of of, uh, of uh, um, igneous rocks, which create heat. Uh, then release the uh, the, the um, minerals, the elements from the uh, the, the core, uh, and into up fluids up the, uh, the these structures, these shear zones in the quartz, and and then yes, you get exactly what you said. You'll get um, bar- uh, some barren. You'll get the, uh, the 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 good stuff. Then you'll get the great stuff. Uh, and uh, it, it's it's just it's kind of hit and miss, but it all adds up to uh, get, giving you an overall uh, uh, potentially economic deposit. So are there more results coming uh, out of that? Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, so- uh, um, we we have a uh, we have a, um, a a big backlog with with the assay lab, as everybody else does. They're just sure. overloaded uh, with work, but they're, we're starting to see some numbers come back in come in now. And uh, what what we actually have done is reprioritize the uh, the sequence. They will process them. So some of the more interesting holes uh, that we, we'll get those earlier, no, not necessarily in the sequence that they've been drilled. Uh, so right, right to date, we have um, full results from three holes out of seventeen, plus that one uh, selected zone of uh, from hole twelve. So there's a lot. There's a, a lot to come. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Good. And then uh, after that, we can more hold. In, in hole twelve as well. I mean, we we, we only we were limited by the number of samples we could uh, that the lab would take on a rush basis, uh, so that the, the the zone is actually quite a bit wider. So there may well be more there, as well as in adjacent holes. And then um, then of course the, the new drilling once once we get back working in the next week or so, um, there'll be uh, lots of sampling to do there too. So the, the, there should be a steady news flow from this. Excellent. That's, that's what's important. People like to see that, uh, getting constant updates as to what's happening. Uh, yeah. And I like the fact that you're able to prioritize when you have some results to go, listen, uh, let's put this out of sequence. We want to see what's here and here yeah. um, because it looks like that's developing more than, than another one. So that's pretty exciting too because it really can get uh, the brains thinking as to what's the next step when we're ready to, to take the next step. So we, we've uh, reprioritized the uh, the sequencing of, of running the samples to get into the get samples from the more interesting areas um, sooner. And, and, and these down holes, uh, we've been drilling at minus forty five or minus fifty five degrees. So um, you know the vertical depth is is uh, quite a bit less than the down hole depth. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a, that's good to know as well. Uh, yeah. Excellent. So I really appreciate you uh, getting in touch with us and explaining that because it's it's good to have someone who who knows what they're looking at, what they see, and can interpret that as often, uh, and to to see a genuine expression of no, no, we're onto something here. It's it's fitting our model in what we see uh, from all those around us and the data, and there's and there's tons of data uh, that we can see and that's been published, and that can give people a bit more, a bit more optimism of okay, I get it, I see what their the theory is makes sense if we can just start mm. narrowing it down narrowing it down and hammering it in uh you know there could be uh the same types of results that we're seeing from uh like a newfound uh gold out there yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, like i said if you, if you look at their news releases and look at the tables in detail you will see holes that are exactly the same grade and thickness that, that we've reported so um we just need to get those spectacular numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, I'm really excited. Well, hopefully you'll hit one of those spectacular ones and get a couple of nuggets, and then we'll certainly see a lot of flurry of action. But it's good yes. that we could uh, have the time for you to explain to us uh, where there's optimism and where there's uh, interest from uh, from an academic mind and from a technical mind who really understands what they're looking at. And that we appreciate you uh, filling us in. Well, thank you, Mr. Healy. I really appreciate you taking the time uh, and walking what? us through this news release. Mike, thank you. Take care. Have a great one. Bye. Bye now.